Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the pieces to make this cute applique alligator. So this is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. It just released today, and when I say current, it is November 1st, 2022. Uh, if you're in the club already, you should have gotten an email with a link to download the pattern. And if you're not in the club yet and you join any time in the month of November, this is the pattern that you're going to get instantly for free. And then you get a new pattern on the first of the month every month for as long as you're a member. If you're watching this video and it's after November 2022, um, sometime probably the middle to the end of December, I'll have this pattern available in the regular shop at shinyhappyworld.com. So here's how to make it. All right, this is the video that shows you how to put the pieces together without a light box. And so I've taken all of the dotted lines that are on the back of the pieces, on the paper side of the pieces, and I've transferred them over to the fabric side so that we can see where the pieces go. Um, you can just hold the piece up in a window uh, and just trace over it. I've used chalk on these if chalk, if it's a very light fabric like, um, like the teeth are here, I've used a pencil. And um, yeah, that's just get those lines transferred and here we go. So I'm going to first put, the pieces have numbers on the back of them. Those will key you in to which piece goes where on the placement guide, but you won't use the placement guide beyond that. I like to always start with the piece that is going off the bottom edge, usually the bottom edge of the block. And in this case, that is the body. I'm just gonna get that kind of centered in the block. All right, now I'm gonna get his teeth in there. So this might be helpful. You've got two pieces of teeth um, and in this case, the numbers will be helpful to tell you. So the number two piece of teeth is going to go on the top. Peel that off and then just slip it underneath the top part of his mouth. And I had transferred that line. Once you get that line covered up, you know you have a good amount of overlap. So you will have a nice clean finish on those teeth. There we go. And now number three is the bottom teeth. And you, I could have done these as individual tooth pieces, but I thought it would be super annoying to position all of those individual triangles. So we did all of the points for these and the ridges down his back as one piece. There we go, so those teeth are placed. Now let's get his eyes in there. So number five is the eye on the left. The ovals are identical, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> but I forgot to draw in the eyelids, and if you remembered to draw in the eyelids, then you would wanna make sure that you have the correct eye on each side, because if you swapped them, it would look like he had angry eyes instead of sleepy eyes. So now I'm putting in the eyelids. So this is piece number seven, goes on this side. And piece number eight goes over here. And I can show you actually, if we swapped those, if you wanted to play around with the pattern a little bit, you could give your alligator angry eyes. But I'm gonna go back to sleepy eyes. I wanna make sure he looks friendly and non-threatening. There we go. And now we've got a couple of tiny little nostril pieces which if you find these tedious to outline, which some people definitely do, the pattern has a link to a post that has all kinds of different options. And it talks about them being different options for the eyes, but it is, um, 
it would also be a good option for any small pieces like these nose, like the nose here. So um, it tells you my favorite fabric paints, my favorite fabric markers, some different embroidery stitches you can do if you wanted to do some hand stitching in there. It gives you lots of different options besides applique on those eyes. If it were me and I didn't want to applique these pieces, I would probably use fabric paint. There is a glossy three-dimensional fabric paint that I really like to use if I don't want to applique the eyes or other small pieces. All right, so there's his back ridge. And now the last piece is a little contrasting belly. There we go. So I'm gonna fuse all of this down. I'm gonna take it to the ironing board, fuse everything in place, just follow the instructions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you're using. I'm using heat and bond light. Then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and do all of the outline stitching, and then I'll bring it back and show you the finished block cut plus a couple of other color options. And here we have the finished block. This is the one that I did for the demonstration showing how to assemble the pieces if you do not have a light box. So this one uses a brown background piece that had the lines or the quilting lines already printed on it. So that background is from the Animal Kingdom quilt blocks and all of the greens for his body are from the avocado blenders. So now let me pull in the one that we used for the light box. So for the light box demonstration, I wanted to do a really fun purple alligator. Um, for this one, the background block is from the farmer's market, uh, the farmer's market quilt blocks. So this one also had those quilt lines printed on it. And all of the fabrics for the alligator are from the eggplant blenders. And I've got one more that I did. So this one is a much, much brighter green, more playful, uh, just a, a sillier version of a green alligator. So for this one, the background block is from the gemstone blenders in the dark, uh, not blenders, I'm sorry, the gemstone quilt blocks in the dark collection. Again, it had the quilt lines printed on it. And all of the greens in the alligator are from the emerald blenders. So for this one, this is a collection that I'm working on that uses the gemstones color palette for all of the blocks um, and I'm using complementary colors. So the this is the tourmaline color, the reddish orange, and then the greenish blue, the bluish green um, for the alligator. So the, all of the blocks in this collection are complementary colors. So that's how you make the alligator, the current block in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and I'll see you next time.